Dear Father, how can I live with myself knowing that my own blood is tainted? Just yesterday, I was arrested. I was leaving the coffee shop when some police officers started questioning me. Probably because I looked like a drug dealer or smelled of cheap cologne. At the time, it seemed pissing them off would be a smart idea. I was released that night, and as I was walking, I saw an APB poster with your name on it. You were wanted by the cops, with a record the size of a textbook. You had been on the run for years. Now, it all made sense. It's just a package from you every month. A couple hundred dollars. No letters. Not even a damn phone call. Luckily, on one of the packages, you mistakenly put your return address so I could send you this. Knowing after all these years that you're not only a bad father, but also a bad person. Which doesn't surprise me. What does surprise me is that you never told me. How can I move on? How? Bro, it's time, yo, man. Let's go. Dear son, it all started with a dream. A dream that began.
became reality. You were there. So was I. Your life was exchanged for your mother's. However, it was still a dream. But dreams have a habit of going bad. Whenever you're not looking. I took the wrong path. path that drove me to the ground. I ignored all the traffic lights on that road to get you to your destination on time. I made mistakes. Mistakes can be fixed, but not erased. A wolf has to hunt, defeat his pack, even if it means hunting its own kind. You're supposed to wake up from dreams. Mine just turned into a nightmare. Dreams are supposed to have happy endings. Why didn't mine? There was always a hole in my heart. I called it denial. Now it's too late. And that hole spills the bullet. An eye for an eye is a dead principle. I'm not asking for vengeance. I'm not telling you to forget. I'm telling you to forgive. Close the mouth.